Today we are going to talk about basic features of WhatsApp. The types of message in official WhatsApp are session message, bulk or individual template message, and automated message. Session message is the one that customer sends to you. For example, for your customer care department, you can have one WhatsApp number. And once the customer sends to you the message, is called session message. You can send bulk or individual template messages. So you can make bulk communications to your customers. For example, you can send to 200 your customers message informing about their flight delay. Also, there are automated messages. So you can make workflows to do simple bots depending on the content of the message that you receive from your customers. Now, we are going to see how to send and receive text messages, how to send and receive files, how to see the conversation with a specific customer, how to get notifications of new WhatsApps, how to find the message, how to automate message, how to avoid sending message to a contact, and how to get help. Now let's see how to send and receive text messages. There are three methods. Method 1. We can use the business card in CRM. For that, we go to CRM in contact tabs. You can go also to leads. And you open the WhatsApp message field in the business card. And you can put your message. For example, hi. And this message is sent to the WhatsApp of your customer. Here, as you can see and click, the message is sent. And the icon of outgoing message is in blue color. Also, you can see in sales sign or bell that message was sent. Message 2 from chat in Soho CRM. So we go to the chat bar of CRM, we open the contact, and we put the message. For that, we type slash w space and the message that we want to send. So the message sent. And now message 3, using click. We go to conversation. We can see in click that message was sent. Now to see how messages are received, we will send a reply from our mobile phone. And as you can see, the message is received. And the icon is in green color for incoming message. Also, you can see the same incoming message in sales signals in the Zoho CRM. And necessary to send the message from click, you can go to conversations or channels. We choose channels and put the text that we want to send. For that, we type slash w space and put the message that we want to send. Now let's see how to send and receive files. I'm going to send a file from my mobile phone to our WhatsApp. So we can see that in click the message that files are received. I will try to send image from WhatsApp to my mobile number. For that, I put slash W and drag and drop an image that you, I want to send just next to W. As we can see, the message is sent and the file is sent to our mobile phone. Now, to find any file, we can go to CRM in Contacts tab in WhatsApp Message Related View and see all the messages stored and the links to the files that was attached in sent or received files. I can click and open in the chat bar of CRM all the conversation and exact point where the file was sent. Now I can copy the name of the file and search it. For that I put the name in the search bar of CRM. And I can find the exact message where the file was sent or received. Now, 
Let's see how to find conversation with a specific customer. For that, we go to our Soho CRM and we click on the smart chat of our CRM. Here in search box, we put the name of contact that we are looking for. And it opens the conversation in Soho CRM in the chat bar, all the conversations that we had with this contact. Another option is to go to the related view. For that, we look for contacts tab in Soho CRM. You also can do it in Leaps and choose the contact name. Once you have chosen the contact name, you go in and you choose WhatsApp message related view. As you can see, you can find all the storage messages of your conversation with this contact. The third option is sales sign off. You can click just on the conversation with the contact and find all the messages stored there. Another option is to check in WhatsApp Logs module. So we go to WhatsApp Logs module and we filter by contacts for leads. In our case, we choose contact that contains the name Worcester. And here we can have all the list of messages and the number of messages that are stored with this contact. We can do the same in the click. We just put the name of the contact in the search box and it shows us all the conversations that we had with this contact. Another option is just directly look in channels or conversations of click on the left side. Now let's see how to get notifications of new WhatsApps. For that I'm going to send a message from my mobile phone to our WhatsApp. As you can see, in the chat bar of CRM, the, it appears the notification of new message. Also, on the bell of the sales signals appears the notification. And in the click, you can see the, the new received message. And the icon of incoming message is green. Now, let's see how to find the message. We go and choose any message and copy it. And we put this message in the search box of Soho Sierra. Opens us exact place where the message was sent. And all information when and which customer you had this conversation. Now we can look messages in WhatsApp logs module. We can filter by message that contains some certain text. For example, what? and it shows us all the conversations that contains this word. Now we can look for the message in click. So we put the word that we are looking for in the search box and it opens us all the conversations that contains this word. Another option is to look in SIA of Soho. We put in the search box of SIA the word that we are looking for and it shows us all the possible places that has this conversation. You can find the search icon of SIA in all applications of Zoho. Now let's see how to automate message. For that we go to our Zoho CRM and click on setup. There in the search box we look for workflow. Once you have installed your trial, you will have some rules already installed. So let's see how workflow works here. So this workflow is based on WhatsApp logs. And when a WhatsApp log is created, this rule is going to be executed. Once the word was still sent in the different ways, it is going to be created an instant action, which is tasks in this case. And then it also will create the scheduled action, 
that will be created in one hour. So it is going to be the example of the delayed task. Now let's see how it works. For that I am going to send a message containing what's the word from my mobile to what's the. Okay, and click I have received the message was tell. Let's go to check in Zoho CRM. For that, we go to WhatsApp logs. As the workflow was done based on logs, I check in overview tasks and I can find the was tell tasks. So it is possible to automate flows to create, update, or other tasks, events, calls, any record of any module or answer with other WhatsApp. In this way, you can create your mini bots based on WhatsApp. Now let's see how to avoid sending message to a contact and go directly to no WhatsApp field. We put the tick on the checkbox and save it. And we will try to send a message to this contact. I put message from click to send to this contact. And as you can see, the message is blocked. No WhatsApp option is activated. So this contact is not going to receive the message. And in the same way, you can take out the tick from the checkbox and the contact is available to receive message from you again. Now let's see how to get help. You need just to put slash w space hyphen and you can see automatically a new comment that appears. You just click on it and send. There you will have images and animated GIFs as the short instructions of use of WhatsApp. Also, you have an email of support where you can send your queries. Next, we are going to talk about advanced features of WhatsApp. Bulk sending, campaigns, and about collaboration with your teammates using WhatsApp. Let's start from bulk sending in WhatsApp. We go to Soho CRM we choose all the leads that we want to send the bulk sending and to update the WhatsApp message field, we go to mass update, choose the field of WhatsApp message and put in the field the text that we want. In this case, we will send the message to the passengers about the flight delay. Okay. Here we can see that the, in the WhatsApp message field of each lead, the message is updated. Now we choose all of these leads and just click on send bulk message by WhatsApp. Now let's check how to send campaigns with WhatsApp. For that we go to the campaigns that we have already prepared about flight delay and all the fields are already prepared for you in this case the owner of the campaign is Wostel Notifications the campaign name is a flight delay and also the objective of campaign is notify about flight delay you can fill all the fields depending on your campaign's objectives and schedule the campaign on the time and date that you want. And here, as you can see, the WhatsApp message is also already introduced. This message is going to be sent once the campaign is started. Now we go to the related view of leads and here are shown all the leads that are going to receive this message once the campaign is rolled out. Also, you can add more leads just clicking on this button of add leads. All the leads that were assigned to this campaign will receive the WhatsApp message. And after that, they can reply to your message if they want by WhatsApp as well. Now we are going to talk about collaboration with your teammates using WhatsApp. In the previous conversation that we had in the smart chat in Soho CRM, 
we can continue talking, but now with our colleague. So you can mention your colleague by add sales manager and ask their opinion about the deal. This message is going to be sent to your colleague or teammate and your colleague can see all the conversation with the customer also. But the customer is not going to see your internal discussion with your team. This is very important as you can share the workload between your colleagues and help each other in different points. All the conversations with the customer and your teammate collaboration these conversations are also stored in the same place. The use case of this kind of collaboration can be very wide, so your customer will never be lost or not attended on time. In the same conversation, of course, you can send message to your customer just putting the command slash w and your customer will be able to receive and see this message. You can differentiate it as an outgoing message of WhatsApp with blue icon. Now we can see the same conversation in click. And you can see that conversation using WhatsApp and Wastel are in red color. And the one that are in black our internal conversations with your teammates. And once your customer replies, as usual, you can see the icon in green color. Also, you can check on the web page of wastel.com the facts, where you have all the questions and replies. Please check them before contacting the support of Wastel. Also, you can find them in the menu bar and you can check the pricing packs and all the installation demo facts as well. And in case if you have not find replies to your questions, you can submit a ticket to our support team.